very good day to all i dr rizwana begum would like to discuss the topic objectives of human resource planning under the subject strategic human resource management in this session as we know human resource planning is very important in the organization we shall see what are the objectives of human resource planning the objective of human resource planning is to ensure the best fit between employees and jobs while avoiding manpower shortages or surpluses what we do here is in human resource planning they see to it that or human resource department see to it that there should be a fit between the best fit between employees and job what is the job there and how the employees will be fit in that in those jobs and avoiding either shortages there should mean no shortage and there should be no excess manpower as the three key elements of the job planning process are forecasting labor demand analyzing present labor supply and balancing projected labor demand and supply that here in the planning process hr planning process the first element is to see what is the labor demand in future we forecast the labor demand and see to it that what we have what uh, number of labor we have in the organization and we balance projected labor demand and supply through human resource planning we see other objectives of human resource planning proper assessment of human resources needs in future uh, human resource planning assess the needs in future what we require in the organization in anticipation of deficient or surplus manpower and taking the corrective action when there is a proper planning in the organization proper hr planning in the organization <clears throat> the organization can anticipate whether there will be a deficient or whether there will be a surplus of labor in the organization in future and accordingly they can take the corrective measures to create a highly talented workforce in the organization through proper planning objective one of the objective of planning is uh, to make sure that there are highly talented skilled people in the organization and to protect the weaker sections of the society that is like you see that uh, people in the society weaker sections of the societies can be given importance by taking them in the organization and giving necessary training and see to it that they uh, adhere to the rules or the norms of the organization and human resource planning helps in there to manage the challenges in the organization due to modernization restructuring and reengineering that um, as we know organization or world is so dynamic organization go for modernization restructuring and reengineering to manage these challenges in the organization there should be human resource planning and if we go to some other objectives of the human resource planning to facilitate the realization of the organization's objectives by providing right number and types of personnel we know that organizations have objectives set by them um, to facilitate this uh, or to achieve these organizations objective there should be right number of people right and right number of employees or labor and right type of personnel in the organization to reduce the cost associated with personnel by proper planning when there is a proper hrp that is human resource planning um, organizations can reduce the cost associated with uh, these personnel maybe recruitment selection or training and development associated with this so that they should uh, get the personnel with minimum cost to determine the future skill requirements of the 
organization the objective of uh, human resource planning is to determine what may be the future skill requirement in the organization or in that job to plan careers for individual employees when there is uh, efficient planning in the organization uh, individual employees careers can be planned easily or efficiently providing a better view of hr dimensions to top management when there is a human resource planning done very carefully they can give a better view of um, human resource dimensions to the top management of the organization determining the training and development needs of employees as we know organizations conduct um, training and development activities in the organization uh, when there is human resource planning to determine the needs of training and development who require training and development and what type of training and development is required by the employees can be determined through human resource planning to assess the surplus or shortage of human resources and avoiding unnecessary dismissals what happens here is when you plan properly we can assess or organization can assess whether there is a shortage of manpower or surplus of manpower in the organization if there is a surplus what happens is without the planning if there is a surplus uh, it leads to unnecessary dismissals so to avoid that uh, make sure that organizations make sure that there is a proper um, human resource planning to minimize imbalances caused due to non availability of human resources of right kind right number in right time and at the right place as we know human resource planning itself is making sure that availability of human resources of right kind right number in right time and at the right place so it minimizes the imbalances caused due to non availability so sometimes what happens there is um, we cannot put the right kind of people at the right time at the right place so this uh, human resource planning minimizes imbalances ensuring optimum use of existing human resources in the enterprise the present human resource or present manpower which are there in the organization Uh, human resource planning ensures the optimum use of these resources in the organization and to sum up this session we can tell that hr planning helps a firm to cope with changes in market conditions such as competition technology regulatory framework etc in an effective way that is as we know there are changes in the market conditions we see that uh, there is a heavy competition in the organization in the organization environment uh, technology changes day by day and regulatory framework also uh, changes accordingly so it planning this hr planning helps the organization to cope with these changes in the market conditions and human resource planning makes it possible for a company to have a vast pool of qualified people for vacancies that are likely to arise now and then also in future it is it is like uh, a vast pool of people with the skilled um, we can call it a skilled manpower for vacancies which suddenly arises in pres- in the present condition or in the future it makes it possible to have a pool of qualified people hope this session is uh, clear to you thank you for patient listening thank you